Hey everyone, it's like, can you spot the kitties in the boxes? <laughs> There's, here's one kitty, Henny, Henny in a box. And then there's another kitty in the far right. It should be your far right corner. You can see his little black face. It's Guster. Let's see if I can point. Guster. And Henny. Henny and Guster. Guster and Henny. Henny and Guster and Guster and Henny. That's their song. Okay, no more singing. Uh-oh. Hold on. We've got some kitties leaving. That's what happens when I sing. It hurts their ears. Okay, well... Oops, sorry. Okay. Um, I don't know if henry if henry's gonna go back in a box and who knows guster could leave too <laughs> henry's upset there he is he's gonna go back in the box go back in the box okay well let's just start reading the bible we are at leviticus Oh, he went in the box. And the other one's in that box. Okay. Well let's let's look at let's look for the Bible. We are in Leviticus chapter eighteen. So we'll go ahead and read that. The Lord said to Moses. Speak to the Israelites and say to them, I am the Lord your God. You must not do as they do in Egypt, where you used to live, and you must not do as they do in the land of Canaan, where I am bringing you. Do not follow their practices. You must obey my laws and be careful to follow my decrees. I am the Lord your God. Keep my decrees and laws, for the person who obeys them will live by them. I am the Lord. Okay. Um, let me just look at the... Ooh, this is a long chapter. So, we, we're going to... I think we'll stop there. And then pick up... A, well, I'm wondering if that's the best thing to do. Maybe I should just read the whole thing. Sorry. <laughs> This one is like an uncomfortable chapter for me because it's all about sexual relations. Um, it's kind of awkward to read online, but it, it is the Bible. So, well, we'll go ahead and read it. Okay, so I hope you remember what I just read, the first paragraph where God is saying, um, don't do as they do in Egypt where you used to live, and you must not do as they do in the land of Canaan, where I'm bringing you. Do not follow their practices. But then, so, uh, so then he goes into wh how he wants them, what he wants them to practice. And I guess maybe the people in those lands at that time did the things that he doesn't want them to do. So anyway, okay, picking up at verse 6 of Leviticus 18. No one is to approach any close relative to have sexual relations. I am the Lord. Do not dishonor your father by having sexual relations with your mother. She is your mother. Do not have relations with her. Do not have sexual relations with your father's wife. That would dishonor your father. Do not have sexual relations with your sister, either your father's daughter or your mother's daughter, whether she was born in the same home or elsewhere. Do not have sexual relations with your son's daughter or your daughter's daughter. That would dishonor you. Do not have sexual relations with the daughter of your father's wife, born to your father. She is your sister. 
Do not have sexual relations with your father's sister. She is your father's close relative. Do not have sexual relations with your mother's sister because she is your mother's close relative. Do not dishonor your father's brother by approaching his wife to have sexual relations. She is your aunt. Do not have sexual relations with your daughter-in-law. She is your son's wife. Do not have relations with her. Do not have sexual relations with your brother's wife. That would dishonor your brother. Do not have sexual relations with both a woman and her daughter. Do not have sexual relations with either her son's daughter or her daughter's daughter. They are close relatives. That is wickedness. Do not take your wife's sister as a rival wife and have sexual relations with her while your wife is living. Do not approach a woman to have sexual relations during the uncleanness of her monthly period. Do not have sexual relations with your neighbor's wife and defile yourself with her. Do not give any of your children to be sacrificed to Molech for you must not profane the name of your God. I am the Lord. Do not have sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman. That is detestable. Do not have sexual relations with an animal and defile yourself with it. A woman must not present herself to an animal to have sexual relations with it. That is perversion. Do not defile yourselves in any of these ways because this is how the nations that I'm going to drive out before you became defiled. Even the land was defiled, so I punished it for its sin. And the land vomited out its inhabitants. But you must keep my decrees and my laws. The native-born and the foreigners residing among you must not do any of these detestable things. For all these things were done by the people who lived in the land before you, and the land became defiled. And if you defile the land, it will vomit you out as it vomited out the nations that were before you. Everyone who does any of these detestable things, such persons must be cut off from their people. Keep my requirements, and do not follow any of the detestable customs that were practiced before you came, and do not defile yourselves with them. I am the Lord your God. Okay, so we read Leviticus 18, and... <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, but can we say that chapter speaks for itself? I mean, I love how direct God is. <laughs> He's like just saying, ew, don't do that. No. He's like, no, 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 no. You know, and then, I, I mean, that, I guess that's what was going on, you know, and it still does go on, obviously. But yeah, it's um, awkward. But yeah, he's just saying, you know, don't do those things. <sighs> okay, well, we got through that chapter. Um, makes sense to me. Yeah, well, that is like the, the ick factor, ick factor. But like I said, I love how direct God <laughs> is. He's very, like, it's just very... Oh, and you know, verse 21 is really something. Do not give any of your children to be sacrificed to Molech, for you must not profane the name of your God. I am the Lord. I mean, they were sacrificing their kids in these lands. Um, and then later on, I think we'll learn that Israel, I think Israel uh, did do that as well. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we'll find out as we read through the Bible, but yeah, Moloch, I mean, he's basically a demon, you know, some God that they, that these lands were sacrificing their children to, um, yuck. <sighs> okay. Well, now let's go to the New Testament. Um, Acts chapter five, and we only have, we have like three boxes and one packed box that you're seeing and Guster being really cute. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. Well, now he's not being, oh, well, he's kind of, he's being cute, but Henry, 
Why don't you join the party? Oh, let me see if I can lure him back with bugs. Penny! I think he'll come back. I hear him. He's coming. Okay, he hopped in the other box. I don't know. I guess I have to kind of keep doing this. Okay, well, <laughs> you're not getting a full picture. 